Let's share video. Let's watch some small video. And so that we can comment. Let's watch this video. Can you give us a list of some clear cases of individuals, companies who have violated these laws and you have exposed, you and others have exposed over the years in this fight? Just give us a sense of it. I'll start with um, CNJ Alaska, hmm. which started the destruction of the Apawasa Forest Reserve. And at that time, we reported that was in 2018, 2017, 2018, when we went there with the tax force. They were leading Chinese miners. In some cases, when we asked, we saw that they had just prospecting licenses and they were still mining the forest. And when we flew the drones, we saw miles of devastation that has not been reclaimed until now. So a large portion of the Upper Wasa Forest Reserve are now pits and gullies destroyed by CNJ Alaska. That company metamorphosed into Imperial Heritage Mining Limited. And they also invaded the Apamprama Forest Reserve in 2018 with a prospecting license. And when we went in there, they had over 35 excavators in the forest and they had destroyed it. When we did that report, nothing happened. Nobody uh, was invited. And that was a gross violation of our mining regulations. And even the Minerals Commission was aware of what happened in that forest. Today, one thing led to another, more people joined and 50%, according to the Forestry Commission of the Apamprama Forest Reserve, is now degraded, pits and gullies. Now, when we did that uh, uh, expose, we expected the state to act, but it didn't. Later on, when we were detained by the same people, when we were sent by the environment minister, to stop them in the Apamprama Forest Reserve. The soldiers who were protecting them detained us for five hours in the bush and subjected us and my crew to a whole lot of, you know, uh, assault. Nothing happened after. We're still investigating. I have to go into my archives. A number of reports I have done from various uh, reserves across the country, yeah. uh, including the latest one, which is the Draw River. Uh, forest Reserve, uh, we're getting all manner of uh, um, information on who has entered. It's not okay. clear. So, to the so, forest so, so we know entered. we know that in these matters you have spoken to, we can say without any fear of contradiction that absolutely nothing has been done. Uh, the things they do about calling you to you know interview you is is nothing. We cannot say if you did that in January up to now. We are getting to when. We're in September, we should, we should uh, credit you for having done any work. Uh, the area of the police, even the uh, OSP, all of them, we can say, are failing in this direction. Tell us about your fresh discoveries of devastation, uh, the ones that you have un uncovered recently, and what the official response has been. So um, we had the one that is showing on your screen right now is the Draw River Forest Reserve. Now we heard that somebody has entered that reserve. In fact, it's a, it's a protected area, it's a, a GSPA. And uh, we went there to find out. In fact, we, we found out they had um, entered the forest with the excavators after agitation from the youth. They brought the three excavators back onto the uh, forest road their cabin, uh, which they had, you know, they wanted to set up and start mining. That is still within the forest area. Uh, a large clearing has been done within the forest ready uh, for mining. Now, we, per our investigations, know that Better Land uh, Ghana Services has a, a, a legal right uh, to mine within, they have a concession, a mining right within the forest, but they are yet to start mining. In fact, they have sent me videos and pictures of how they are doing their exploration activities. 
and they are using simple tools. They are saying that they have not, for any reason, entered the forest with any heavy equipment to do exploration. Then the question, the major question is, so who entered that part of the forest and has cleared the area and has been ready okay. to mine? And then we went to the Tananya Reserve recently, and we saw the invasion. And as we speak, the excavators have been moved to villages surrounding the area. We have not gotten any official response from the Forestry Commission indicating why they refuse to arrest them, why they allow them to cut their excavators, which is the evidence of who has invaded the forest out of the forest without impounding them. Okay. As we speak, their settlements are still there. Their machines, some mm. of their equipment are still there. Mm. And that is what they do. They wait for it to calm down, and then they enter the forest again to destroy.
Please comment, like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Shot360 Media GH. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X.